Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today we're back with some Car X Drift Racing Online and we have this. The GT86, BRZ, whatever. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's here in the game and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about some of the customization options that they've added to this car like two months ago. But, I mean, like, it's finally time for me to have a look at them. So I had to save up so much money for it. Um, you guys won't be able to see it now, but I spent like 1.5 million on this so it's pretty insane anyway this is it these are all the options here look at the amount of things that you can ch actually change on this car so it's kind of cool for the fenders you can remove them for the hood um you can go from stock to vented to slightly less vented to vented and sort of angled or no hood at all if you just don't want one uh, but i will i like this one i think this one's nice um we got the normal front end here, we got a random front end here. I don't like it because it doesn't match the, the arches. Or I can remove the front end altogether, or I can add this. Oh my god, this looks really, really mean. I like this. Alright, we're keeping this kit on over here. For the trunk, sure, we'll keep that on. Uh, I guess that's no rear bumper, so it's, we either have this, a slightly more aggressive rear bumper, and just no rear bumper at all, which I'm gonna go with because it gets rid of this part here. Of the uh, of the wide arch, if I just like go through other bumpers, what's this roof? Oh wow, it's just the aerial that I get to get rid. Okay, cool. <laughs> For the side skirts, um, just has a black stripe on the side. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It just has a black strip there as a side skirt. Sure, we'll keep that. For wing mirrors, we'll go with these like street style style mirrors. Uh, wings, so you can go from no wing to this weird. 86 wing um, Cool, it's like a rocket bunny wing Well, actually one of the kits like if I wasn't going to buy this one and it was the previous set of uh, of Kits that I could buy it had pretty much a rocket bunny kit on it So yeah, and then we have this tiny wing or we have this wing which is probably what I'm gonna go with Just to make it look a little bit more outrageous. So we'll keep that Tail lights if I really want them don't need those uh, at all to be honest <laughs> Uh, for wheels, I did find a set of wheels for this thing, uh, but I just didn't have enough money to buy them. I still, I don't think I still have enough money to buy them. I think for this, it's like 130 grand, but if I go to RC, it's like 380, and then zero drift, it's still 380. So yeah, so anywhere from, anything from here is decent for wheels, I guess, because I'll be able to actually afford them. Uh, where are these like? I mean, there's, there's, there's so many wheels to choose from, like, I'm bound to find something in this, in this class to actually add on to this thing. Like there's 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 so many, or even in stock. I mean, in stock I could, we could just like legit choose wheels from uh, from other cars. But see, like these for example, I really like these. I'm gonna put these on. Yeah, I'm gonna put these on. 20 inch as well. I think they're, they're perfect. Uh, I changed the paint already on this car. If you guys couldn't tell, uh, it was just a normal blue. So I changed it to like this weird purple, uh, which I kind of like. Uh, now for the actual wheels themselves. Um, what do I want? I don't know what I want exactly. Do I want anything for this? Saturation? I'll just leave that the way it is. And then maybe for uh, the inside of the rim, if I do change them to something, like what would it be? Oh, why am I... I don't know why I'm changing that. That's like legit, like just the one thing doesn't need to be changed. So I could do something like this, but nah, I, I don't know how I feel about that to be honest. We could go like gold-ish wheels, maybe. What if I do... Some sort of like gold wheels. So do do something like this. I don't know how gold they actually look. Actually, they don't really look too bad. To be completely honest. Um, and then for this, I think I'm gonna go with just a black rim on the outside. What do they look like now? Eh, they look they look okay. They look okay. Um, I don't really like that color. It it just looks like mustard. It doesn't really look. Properly gold. It doesn't really look properly gold. It's a bit too mustardy. You know what? Let's just change them back to silver. Or white. Oh, actually, they don't look too bad. We have the white and then we have the uh, the black background. I think that, that doesn't look too bad. So get rid of of that as well. So that they don't look like gold at all. Uh, 65 grand to buy these. Sure. Or to buy that paint. We can have a little bit of... Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Rim color? I already bought the rim color. What are you talking about? 
Well, looks like we're buying up twice. Doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, this is what we have here. Let's actually drive this thing and see what it's like. So, um, I think Unkami would be a decent place to start. And I think we'll go Kami and Castle Road just to see. So, I've already driven this on Kami Road back when I just bought this thing. That wing is in enormous. So, back when I bought this thing, I did test it out on, on Kami. It's really fast, by the way. Like, it's a lot, like I've been driving uh, around an M3 in this game. It doesn't like third gear, though. Third gear, low revs. It's it, actually just low revs in general. This thing just doesn't handle well. It doesn't have, like, any low and torque whatsoever. So, if you're... Those wheels look so good. I don't know how well you guys can see that. I was paying attention to the wheels. I wasn't even paying attention to what I was doing. Those wheels look so good when I'm sliding. Look at this. Look at that effect. They look really, really good. All right. Anyway. Let's just continue to drive this thing. It's, it's really fast. Again, it doesn't have any low and torque, so... If it does drop a little bit too low, I have to change down at the second gear quite a lot with this thing. Um, but it's fast. Like, it's really, really fast. Like, it gets through these corners so, so quickly. Uh, I've been driving the M3, like I said. See what I mean? Like, third gear, I tried to straighten up a little bit. It just does not like it. It just straightens up and... No problem whatsoever if I keep it up in the revs, though. Third gear, fourth gear. It's a little bit more twitchy as well, this thing, than uh, some of my other cars. Again, like I said, for the past, like, three times, I've been driving E92 M3, and it's a little bit... It, it feels slower, even though I don't think it is slower. It just feels so much smoother to drive than this thing. This thing just feels aggressive, and it just goes into corners, like... Like, mad. Like, where I throw it into corners and I can save it so easy because I can have, like, so much angle with this car. It's mental. It's absolutely mental how much angle I can squeeze out with this car and then just come back and just save it. It's dumb. It's a pretty good car to drive, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just not used to it yet. Oh, I've spun it. Oh, the game doesn't think so. The game doesn't think so just yet. That I've lost it, but cool. Thank you, game. I get to keep my points, I guess. Look at that angle, man. That's just ridiculous. Again, just try to keep it high in the revs if I'm gonna stay in third gear. But that means that's gonna happen, though. See what I mean? It's st I still haven't lost my points. Okay, game. Cool. But because of that angle, I get, like, so many points just from having, like, insane angle or awesome angle or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. It's a decent car, but, I mean, it's a little bit more unpredictable than some of my other cars. That's kind of what's annoying me. Look how fast I finished this event before. Like, my car is almost already at the finish line. I have, like, 25 seconds left. This is a fast drift car. Risk is at 30,000. Yeah, 30,000 points. It's it's pretty average. 30,000 for this thing. Alright. Well, there you go. It's not, uh, it's not a terrible car. Let's drive it somewhere else as well. I want to test it out somewhere else. I want to test it out on Castle Road. This one I haven't actually driven. Uh, in the, like, I think since we've played it, like, since we unlocked it at the start. We have five minutes to complete this. I don't even remember this. Oh my god. I don't even remember this event, but that was sick. Oh, not this event. What am I talking about? This track. Get some stupid speed coming down here. We've got some snowman as well. I think I should have been a fourth for all that. This thing just slides so easy. Oh my god. <laughs> How did I even save that? Oh god. So bad. Oh no. It was bound to happen. The roads here are so slippery. Alright, go. Come on. Flooring it in second gear. It just won't let me drive. This is just legit so icy. Look at this. Fifth gear. And I'm going nowhere. 
Oh, if I would have kept that angle. Come on, I need a little bit more speed here for these. There we go, there we go. Here's the speed. Here's the speed. I don't know if I want this for speed. Oh, good. Oh, I do. I do. I do want this for speed. I know I have to slow down here quite a lot, so. Huge angle. Oh, no. Just. Oh, I stalled the damn thing. Alright, this way. Oh, come on! It just... It's so bad. It's so bad on this terrain. Like, it's its just terrible. It's completely different to the way it drives on just a normal road. And by completely different, I mean, like, everything... Like, I can't... It doesn't flick hard enough into corners the way it did normally. It just drives differently altogether. It, it, it drives like it's on ice. Get it? Because it is. <laughs> It pretty much is. It slides so easy. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave it there. That was the 8.6 with its customization options. I came out two months ago that I've only gotten a chance to actually mess around with now. But yeah, this is what uh, what it looks like. It's pretty, in it's pretty intense. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. If you guys want to see any more videos on the channel of CarX Drift Racing or other games, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully they have more customization options like this added in soon because I like this. I like all these crazy, crazy mods to some of these cars. They look uh, they look pretty, pretty insane. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.